How we doing, everyone? My name is Michael Warden, and if you're new here, I gotta say, it's a pleasure to meet you. Now, before we get into, you know, the meat and potatoes of, of this whole series of, you know, of let's animate together and get better and stuff, I wanted to show you something that's actually based out of this book, The Animator's Survival Kit. I wanted to showcase to you guys at its core, the fundamentals of animating. And uh, let's get into that. Now, the core fundamentals of animating is, well, right here. What this book calls this is obviously, as, it, as you may notice it, or if you said this looks like a bouncing ball, well, you were correct. The bouncing ball shows the different aspects of timing, and it shows the different aspects of spacing. And also, I don't know why he worded it like this, but basically where you're seeing the, the bonk, uh, apparently that's also considered timing. I, I don't know what he means by that. But this here is, as it's kind of discussed kind of throughout this book, like I said, I kind of skimmed through this real quickly. And more, it's more about the drawing, but this here, and a little bit more with some of the other stuff I'm going to use as, as we go along. It, I think it more it worked more better with you know uh, with stop motion and stuff. But the reason why I am also saying that the arc is pretty important was because I made sure to find this. So to give like a good example, so this right here. All right. If you if you decide to you know pause and read, you know this. If you, if if you know if you got good quality of the wording there, this animator here he was trying to draw a horse galloping or running, but he was struggling with that. He had a you know he had a hard time with the horse you know running and whatnot, and you know he was like I said struggling. But then someone told him, well, work with the eyes first. And so he basically, you know, made sure the eyes follow, follow that like bouncing ball, like curve effect. And everything else came like kind of fell into place afterwards. I mean, it says it right here. So we're back to the old bouncing ball again. So as I can, as I said, you know, that, that bouncing ball in the very beginning of the book, I hope, there we go. Um, it's... It's basically, this is the, the fundamentals of, uh, you know, animating. And, of course, also back here, if we go back a little bit. Oh, wait, no. If I can find it. Right here. This is also some of the core basics of fundamentaling. I mean, uh, animating. Duh. Um, you know, you got, you know, even spacing moving across, and it looks pretty pretty boring but with you know easing in and easing out it kind of shows like some weight and whatnot so yeah that's where I kind of got this idea to showcase that now I'm going to kind of showcase it with you know the uh the, the actual animation part so let's get into that okay so before I continue on with this segment I uh do hope that you guys can see everything efficiently because I can't I don't have a second screen to you know, work things out here, but this right here is pretty much that application of the curves of that chapter of the book being shown here. Now, as you saw, as you see, I named this the Fundamental Curve Basic Linear. So, obviously, I chose, obviously, this is for the other uh, video segment that I did, but basically, I chose basic spacing to do one whole curve. So let's just close it out. I don't know if this is even highlighted. Let's highlight that. And this is set at 12 frames. And now let's watch. Invigorating and exciting, right? There is that application just like in the book shown. As you see, it's going on here. It's a basic curve. And there's 
nothing much nothing much else to say there it's a basic curve now this video file here is pretty much still that fundamental thing you know the the fundamentals of you know the animation and the curves but we're getting fancier here we got two curves but better yet there's some easing in and easing out so let's take a watch yet again we're at 12 frames per second so there you have it this right here all i gotta say is that if there is any anything that, that you're animating it doesn't have to even be stop motion it could be drawing it could be you know cgi computer generated like uh you know like toy story or something like that if you're struggling get to the basics of the curve and work on and work with the timing and spacing in conjunction with the spacing and the timing now that's gonna do it for that crazy and exciting segment of, of this whole series of let's get to animating together trust me i understand that probably wasn't the most exciting but yet at the same time though it's going to be very important as we go along when it's when it's really needed to be applied to and uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this here if you guys still want more of what i'm doing then please then please you know like comment and subscribe it helps me out and the channel out and you know just continue on to the next video but other than that if if you're done with this kind of stuff i understand you know obviously you're calling it quits for the day or whatever i truly understand and with that i'm out of here so see ya